Hello my dear students, myself Aashuni Chakraborty, a teacher of Delhi World Public School Kalyan. Welcome to my ENVS class of 3 and today we will learn beautiful world of birds. Birds are unique and fascinating creatures. They have an awesome ability to fly. In this lesson we will learn about bird strength and the body features which help birds to fly. So first of all, we will learn the different parts of a bird's body. So children, as you can see, I have drawn one bird, that boat, and let us learn the different parts of a bird's body. First of all, this is the eye. This is known as the beak. This is the claw. This is the toe. These are the wings. These are the flight feathers which help birds to fly. This is the Tail. Now, as you can see, these are the different parts of a bird's body. Now, children, what helps a bird to fly? Its body is shaped like a boat. Okay? Its body, its body is shaped like a boat which helps birds to float in the air easily. Okay? And... The bones of a bird are generally hollow, which means they are empty and they are filled with air, which causes less weight. And the body of a bird are generally lighter as compared to other animals. And the tail of a bird helps to change the direction during flight. Now, the body of a bird are covered with feathers. And they have three types of feathers. Flight feather, down feather, and body feathers. Now, what is flight feather? Flight feathers are generally long and flat, and they help birds to fly. Down feathers they act as a warm sweater. They protect the bird's body from the cold weather. Okay. And the body feather. The bird's body is covered with body feather. And they give shape to a bird's body. So children, these are the three types of feathers which are present in a bird's body. Now, there are also some birds that do not fly at all. Due to their heavy body weight. They cannot fly. They move with the help of their legs. Birds like ostrich, penguin, kiwi, they cannot fly and that is why they are known as flightless birds. Now, there are also some birds that spend most of their time in water. They have oil glands that help to keep their feathers waterproof. And this type of birds are known as aquatic birds which spend most of the time in water. Examples of aquatic birds? Crane, duck, swan. So these are the examples of aquatic birds. So children, in this chapter, we have learned the beautiful world of birds. So that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the class. Thank you.